Good morning, YouTube. Yes, it's kind of early, but I guess with a meal like this, got to start early. Hello again. This is Evie, and welcome to my kitchen, and I'm coming with you with tomorrow's dinner. Probably the rest of this week's dinner, since it's only me, <laughs> but I'll probably end up freezing some of this, too. I have here some... Spare ribs. Premium, I think the year that premium pork. Spare ribs. So um, I'm going to cut these open and get them cleaned up. And into the oven. So let me grab a knife here. And make sure you wash your hands and your meats very well. So let's see if I can get you over here. There. Maybe you can see me. Right here. It's a lot of meat, y'all. Ugh, wish y'all someone I wish y'all was over here so you could share I could share this. But it looks like I'll be putting it in the freezer. <laughs> All that um, I cannot consume today. So let's get this washed up. Oh, let me go with some of my spices I'm going to use. I'm going to be using some adobo, salt and pepper, some red chili flakes, some turmeric, and some garlic. So, let's get started. Yeah. Ooh, it's a big old piece of meat. <laughs> cold water. So you want to wash this down in cold water. And I think I'm going to let this sit for about 30 minutes in some salt and some vinegar. Let me bring you over here so you can see. I'm going to let it sit in some salt and some vinegar and maybe for about So you can see what I'm doing here with the big old slab of meat. You guys are welcome to come over and get some of this if you want. Cut this puppy in half. A big old piece of meat, y'all. Woo! See, I'm still trying to get over cooking for a large family. <laughs> Me coming from a large family is kind of hard to do. So I have to cook and freeze. So, let me have a little bit of that salt. And some vinegar. Clean it up a little bit more. I should have done this last night, but it don't matter. As long as it get at least 15 minutes of soaking in this um, brine. Add some vinegar. And I want some... Put a little lemon in there. Okay. 
I would cut off some of this fat, but it's part of my actually it's part of my ketogenic diet. But if I can get this layer off, it will at least let my um ribs cook really, really tender to the bone where they will fall off the bone. if I can get that off while that's soaking. That'll save me a step. A step. Just gently pull it off. Let's see if I can get some more of it off. So, how are you guys doing today? Today is cloudy. And look like it's going to be rainy today. So guys, I'm just going to try to get off some of this excess fat along here. And I'm going to let this soak about 15 to 20 minutes and I'll be back okay guys I'm back I just wanted to chime in a little bit just to show you what I'm over here doing I've already done this one but see how this is on here see that you want to get that off that ligament ligament just it's not hard to come off. It looks like it is, but it really is not. Just take it off your um, ribs, and you will be amazed how much your ribs soak up the flavors that um, you put in there. And it also, um, you know, help your meats to fall off the bone when you're cooking them. So, I just wanted to kind of show you what I'm over here doing okay For some reason this one seemed harder but the first one was pretty easy maybe because I used this bigger knife I don't know but um yeah you want to get that ligament off See how all the grime and mush is coming off the um, rib? When you put it in a brine, clean it up. Okay. Okay, normally this would you could just kind of grab it and it would just come off. I don't know what's going on with it today. <laughs> it's being a little stubborn probably because I'm on camera. <laughs> but yeah, you want to do your best to get as much of that off as you can. And um like I said, you will be surprised how juicy and how succulent your ribs are going to be they're just going to this is this is the thing that keeps it on the bone this right here and that's why you want it to be gone because when when they're cooking you want your ribs to be really soft and falling off the bone kind of goodness so i don't understand why this one is so hard to do but yeah just clean it up the best way you can and get most of that off. I've gotten quite a bit of it off, so, um, yeah. You want it off the really, the main one, which was this one. 
see how the difference is? Can you see that, guys? That's going to fall right off the bone when it starts cooking. And it's going to absorb all of my um, seasonings. Yeah. I really should be keeping some of this fat because um, it's a ketogenic diet. And it's what I'm supposed to be eating, fats, but that's just too much. <laughs> It's too much fat there. Yeah, take out some of it. So yeah, get as much of it off as you can. That that ligament. I am notorious for cleaning fat off of meats. So I need to kind of stop because, um, again, like I say, when you're doing a ketogenic diet, that's what your body is thriving on, fats, and not um, carbohydrates. So let me just leave that alone for now. Got a lot of the fat off. So I'm going to go ahead, drop off some more fat. No. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let that continue to soak. And you can see this is how much fat I've gotten off the, the ligament. So once this starts cooking, this should fall off the bone really, really, really easily. So I'm going to let this go ahead and continue to soak in this brine and clean. And for about another 10 minutes and once it does I'll be back okay ladies and gents I'm back we're gonna go ahead and wash the chicken I mean wash the uh, ribs they've been soaking for about 15 minutes if you can see a lot of the grime that came up off the um, pork see that look at that that's what I'm talking about. Clean it up. When your food tastes, when your food is cleaned up, it tastes delicious. But when it's not so clean, eh, something about it just don't taste right. So I'm gonna try to bring you into my sink as I clean the chicken. I don't know if you can see me, but you wanna also make sure you're using cold water. Take the two and rub them because you want to make sure you get out the rest of the grind that's on there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, this water's cold. It's so cold, y'all. It's cold. Still struggling with that piece of ligament. I don't even understand why. Any other time it just shaved right off. Look, you guys get the point. Get that off your ribs and your ribs will taste better. Much better.
me just get this prepped up a little bit. And preheat your oven to 350 degrees. these ribs because um I can't <laughs> it'll just be easier to, to store once I um cook them all because I can't eat all of these by myself so, oh I'm gonna go ahead and cut them now into two bones each Gotta do what a girl gotta do. So I'm gonna cut this into two bones. One, two, yeah. That's a lot of ribs, y'all. Wish somebody should come over here and help me eat these ribs up. Wait till the weather get warmer and I do some ribs on the grill. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So. Got our ribs all chopped up. And let's see how they're going down. <laughs> Now, bone side down because I want the meat to come off the bones. So, yeah. There you go. So, let's go in with some salt first. Don't be afraid to season your food because if you don't season it, it won't taste good. Especially meat. A little pepper. Some adobo. Some onion powder. Your garlic. A 
this is garlic salt actually and garlic salt and parsley flakes I want to add my favorite I always do this y'all this is my favorite in the whole world I don't know why I love this stuff so much so let's go in with it and my second favorite turmeric yeah. I need to put this in the spot. Okay. Turmeric. And last but not least, I want some I want some coriander. Not coriander. This is um Curry, curry pepper, curry sauce. I mean, curry spice. <laughs> okay, flip them babies over and do the same thing. Flip them over and repeat. These are gonna be the bomb. Okay. Go in with your salt. Don't be afraid. And your pepper. A double. A little garlic. And parsley. Curry. Onion. And turmeric. Okay. I think I want some red pepper. On here, not the flakes, the spice. Actually, this is paprika, but hey, you <laughs> want the red cayenne pepper? Here we go. Yeah, that's it. Just a dash of cayenne pepper. Now let's turn these babies back on the right side, bone side up, and we're going to put these in the oven for, well let's go for the first hour, and then we'll come back and check them. I was going to do the um, fried um, radishes and onions with this, but I have some vegetables in there I need to eat up, like asparagus and Brussels sprout. So, I'm going to put this in the oven for about 60 minutes, and then we'll check it. Until of course, you guys know the deal. When make, working with any kind of meat, you want to clean up your area with a good disinfectant. Really good disinfectant. Here I have good disinfectant. <laughs> Get that nice and clean down because of that pork. I don't want to be spreading salmonella or anything else. Yeah, gotta wipe it 
down. I don't want to be spreading anything anywhere. <laughs> Especially with that COVID-19. I don't want to get sick. Whether it's that or anything else. Just best to just wipe everything down. I would advise everybody, whatever cleaning product you use to mildly clean your um stuff with, add a pinch of bleach. Um, I grew up in a family of bleach where bleach was like bleach was like <laughs> life. So of course you know I got a little bleach in here. <coughs> Excuse me. all sanitized and ready to go. Okay guys. I'll see you in about an hour or so. Okay guys, I'm back. As you can see, <clears throat> the ribs are coming along pretty good. I'm going to give them a little turn. Yeah, buddy. And let them cook for at least another hour. They are nowhere, well, they might be halfway near falling off the bone. That's the way I like them. Falling off that bone. <laughs> so we're going to just stick these babies back in the oven. For however long they need to be there. when the ribs are done. Okay, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um as you can see, here are the ribs. They look pretty done. I'm going to um go ahead and baste them and put them back in the oven for about another Oh yeah, that's really good and tender. Another 15 minutes. So, I'm adding a little low calorie, low sugar, low carb barbecue sauce. So, let's get that on there. <clears throat> tell you guys this ketogenic diet is awesome <laughs> I remember when I did Atkins I loved that then I, oh yeah I think I stopped Atkins because um, I had actually reached my goal and again like I say with Atkins you can only do Atkins for like um, a certain length of time but man scientists came up where you can do this ketogenic for life so yeah buddy, I'm on board with ketogenic because I really enjoyed Atkins. So yeah, this is 
This is enough mm, spare ribs to last me for a lifetime over here. You guys, somebody got to come over here and help me eat this up. Hit me up in my email if you want to come over and help eat it up. That's all good. 571 at gmail.com. And be on your way to get some of these good old ribs. Yeah, buddy, they're falling off the bone. Just the way I want them. Easy. I don't want them to fall just yet. Easy now. Ooh. I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, they falling. Starting to fall. I don't want them to fall. I want them to fall, but I don't want them breaking apart just yet before I get them barbecued up with the sauce. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Come on, don't break. <laughs> no breaky. No achy breaky. Okay. Oh, that's one broke. Mm. <laughs> yeah, buddy. This one turn and it'll be good to go. Okay. Okay. Good to go. Sorry about the silence, you guys. I'm just trying to get this on. Get it back in the oven for another 15, 20 minutes. And do a taste test. By the time this is done, I'll be ready to do a taste test. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Well, it's not one not. So, let me go ahead and use this up. Alright. Alright guys, let me get this in the oven. And once it's done, I'll be back. Okay guys, the ribs are done. Just there you have it. Barbecue ribs. Yum. Let me give it a little base. Okay, guys, I'm going to give a little taste for you. And I'm not going to pull off the um, Brussels sprout and the um, asparagus because it's still early in the day and I just wanted to get these done. So, click that off. Grab a utensil. So I can get a taste. Man.
grab a little yum my little taste test ooh it's falling off the bone already <laughs> that's what I'm talking about okay guys I'm gonna just bring you over here and down there there <laughs> that's my little taste test Wow, look how it just tenderly fall apart. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you cook a rib. Yay! Okay, let me take a little taste. Here you go, take a piece. Yum, 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 yum. Yum! Here we go, going in. Mmm. Oh, yeah, pretty tender. Mmm. Pretty good. Mm. It's pretty tender too. Going in again, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. Mm. <laughs> oh guys <clears throat> if you like this video yum and I hope you do please like comment and subscribe and share this video with anyone and everyone that you know so that we can help grow this channel I notice my subscribers are growing and I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel I thank you so much and thank, thank you again for coming into my kitchen and with that said I'll see you yeah you in my next video peace see ya bye <laughs>